2024, we, uh, our investment increases by 50% over 10 years. And by what effective annual rate does it increase? So since we're talking about just effective annual rate, we just are going to choose the M to be one. So that would just be um, where we're compounding it once a year. And so that's 10 years. And we increased by 50%. So if we started with P amount, and we don't really know what that is, but it's not going to matter. What? How are we going to show an increase in 50%? Yeah, so it's going to be 1.5. So 1, 100% would just be staying the same. So we are going to be looking at 1.5. And then we're trying to find what that R, what that rate is, the percent that it increased by each year. So it will divide the P out, so it doesn't really matter how much you started with. And so then we're looking at 1 plus R to the 10th is equal to 1.5. So to solve this for R, we get rid of the 10 by either doing the 10th root or doing a fewer keystrokes, which would just be uh, to the 1 tenth power. And Katrina, you want to tell me what you get when you get there? Uh, 1.4412. 1. Okay. So then we'll subtract off the 1. So that will take us to 0 0.04138. And so as a percent, and that's going to be 4.138%. So that's the annual percent growth that we saw in order to get a 50% increase over 10 years. Others you'd like to work? Katrina, do you have another one? Yeah. That's good. 21. 21. So 21. So the price of an item is given by P of P. P of P is 12.5 times 1.024 raised to the P power. And that's P equals zero is in 2004. And we want to get the inverse of 75, and it says two decimal places. So what we need to think of here is that on the original function, what we're inputting is going to be P, which is measured in what? years, and what we're outputting is the P of T, which is price. the price. So yeah, we're inputting years, number of years, we're outputting some kind of dollars and cents price. So an inverse is going to switch those around. So the 75 is not the time in years, it's actually the price, so that's dollars and cents. And what we want for an answer is going to be how many years will it take till the price is going to reach 75. Well, it was 12.50 to start with, so that 2.4% increase, this is probably going to take quite a while. But the way we find it is we're going to go back to our original, and we're going to put the 75 in where the value of P is. And so this is the equation that we're trying to solve for t. Now we haven't really talked about logarithms yet because we can do this with logarithms and if you remember how to do it you're welcome to do it that's fine. The way we've talked about doing this is how. If we don't use logarithms what's our option? Yeah exactly so you're going to graph like you can put y1 is equal to 75 and put y2 is all of this and then you have to play around with your window a little bit. Make sure you know you got to get the y value that's at least 75, so you can see the 75 coming across the screen. And then you're going to have to find that. And it may take a little while because the 2.4 percent interest and starting at 12.5, uh, 12 dollars and 50 cents, it's going to take a while to reach a price of 75. So you may have to extend that x max out there quite a bit.
very tiny net. Anybody have the answer? What's the answer we're looking for? Yeah. Um, 75.54. Yeah, 75.549 years. Okay. Is that okay, Katrina? Yeah. All right. Other questions? About time for a surprise quiz. So you can do your desk with everything except for.